What is going on guys? So today I'm going to be showing you how to actually mount Mac OS X mountain line to a USB flash drive or an external hard drive, whatever you prefer, but I'm going to be using a USB flash drive for this video. And this is really helpful if you want to install mountain line onto all your other Macs at your house and stuff like that. So you won't have to be re-downloading and all that stuff on each Mac that you try to install mountain line onto. And it's also useful if you want to just do like a fresh install and you have this as a bootable drive. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and actually open up the App Store. Since I do already have Mountain Lion installed onto my Mac, um, it does actually erase from your Mac once you do have Mountain Lion installed. So what you have to simply do if you did purchase it already, just go to your purchases. And then right here where it says download, just go ahead and download that. Hit continue and then it'll start to download. If you didn't purchase it yet, of course you'll need to purchase it for $19.99 and it's pretty cheap for an upgrade. And if you are running Snow Leopard, you can actually upgrade if you have a compatible Mac straight to Mountain Lion. So let's go ahead and open up Finder. Let's go to our Applications folder real quick and find our Install OS X Mountain Lion. Right click on that, go to Show Package Contents, click on Contents, and then go down to Shared Support. And then here is the install esd.dmg file. This will actually, that's what we'll need to mount it to a USB drive. So simply double click on that and we can close out Finder. We don't need that anymore. And then now it will be opening up the install esd.dmg file. So let's go ahead and skip through this and it'll take a couple seconds. Once that DMG file does open up, of course you'll get this screen right here you'll see the install OS X mountain lion right there along with all the folders and files and everything next to it so that is all nice but we don't need that now we just close out of that little window there and then now we actually go into our spotlight if you don't know how to activate spotlight just hit command and space or just hit that little button right there go into disk utility open that up and then we will see of course our hard drive here and then we'll have our install esd.dmg which is going to be our mountain line right down there and now we'll simply have to go ahead and plug in our USB drive I am using a 8 gigabyte USB drive I just bought this actually just for this video so let's go ahead and plug this in and once that is plugged in we'll simply have that pop up right there so as you see there since it is a new flash drive, I'm going to go ahead and erase this and format it to Mac so it can be compatible with Mac. So we'll simply hit on the erase tab up there. Under format, we'll go ahead and hit on Mac OS Extended Journal and then we'll title it whatever you want. I'm just going to title it um, JB Tech Flash Drive. Why not? <laughs> simply hit erase now and then hit erase one more time and then this will erase and format it to Mac OS Extended Journal so you can use this for your Mac. So let's go ahead and skip this. This will take a couple minutes. All right, once this is done, we can actually partition this if you choose to. If you're doing this like on an external hard drive that has a lot of space in there, or if you just want to partition this flash drive. What partitioning is, is if you don't aren't aware of it, what it is basically cuts it into two-thirds, quarters, all these partitions. Basically it cuts it into different partitions. So if you just want to use one part of the flash drive just for strictly mountain line, you can use it. You can actually partition it to like two. That way one part will be mountain line and the rest you can actually store files and stuff like that. But I'm just going to use a whole USB drive because I really don't have any other purpose to use it so here we'll click on restore and the restore tab will simply drag over the actual USB drive into our destination and then now we will simply drag our Mac OS X install ESD into the source location so be sure you have it just like this once you do that hit on restore and now we'll simply hit erase and then now we'll, of course we'll type in our password and hit OK and then now it's gonna set it up this will take quite a bit uh, well not that long but for me it took me about 15 to 20 minutes to fully um, 
restore this into uh, Mountain Lion bootable drive. So just sit patiently. I'll skip this for your benefits. But uh, yeah. Alright guys, once you have installed it and it successfully went through, you will get this little pop-up window, of course, with the install OS X Mountain Lion. So that is a good sign. We can actually close that out. And then now we'll actually test this to make sure this does work. So simply close everything out. We will have to eject these these so I, we can test this out and see if this actually works so let's go ahead and on click on these and let me there we go right click eject so now we ejected these now we'll simply unplug our USB drive and then plug it right back in and just be sure that this is working so let's go ahead and just simply take our USB drive out or external hard drive whatever you did this on and then we'll plug it right back in and as you see here on the screen it will pop up there you go so that means you successfully did it if you have the install OS X mountain lion along with all the other files that is great so you just actually mounted Mac OS X mountain lion onto your USB flash drive or maybe your external hard drive whatever you did this on it is successful so guys that's gonna be it for this video if you like this video and it helped you out, please give it a thumbs up in the bottom left and show me that you like it. It helps me out a lot. And if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, leave that in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter for updates and all that good stuff. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button up top for more videos like this. So thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.